thought we'd have the chicken debone tonight, but fuck it. I guess I might have to work out or something. Cindy thinks I'm actually a dumbbell. I'm not a dumbbell. She kept trying to direct me again on driving. Huh, she thinks I don't know how to fucking drive. I do know how to drive. I just have that blank stare when I'm around her. Cindy is pretty annoying. She thought she could direct me back and forth, back and forth. And she thought I was a dumbbell like the weights I have here. Well, I'm not a dumbbell, but I love working out. With this dumbbell, of course. Huh. She's whacked out and out of her mind, but I still love her regardless. Hmm. At the mall, I told her, Okay, I got a penny. I'm gonna make a wish. Then she said, Oh, okay. Then after she said, Okay, then I made that wish. She keeps telling me what to do and what not to do. She thinks I'm brainless. That's the dumbbell I should be giving her. She thinks I'm a dumbbell, but I prefer to work out with one. She thinks I'm a rude person. I'm not. I just love watching the game. Huh. Times, Cindy annoys the fuck out of me. She's like a passenger driver. She keeps telling me what to fucking do. I know how to fucking drive. She just annoys me while I'm driving. She tells me too many things. She kind of fucking annoys me. But at times, I love her regardless. Yep. I eat fast food, and I haven't had it for seven years. It's pathetic. I feel kind of grossed out a little. I had a dream. Cindy and I were in a car again. I wanted to have chicken debone. Cindy kind of annoyed me. In the car. Back and forth, she kept telling me, You could go wherever you want to go. Let's go have fast food! Hmm. I could imitate her really well. So I felt grossed out. I pulled over in the parking lot. And she looked at me like I had a blank head. I don't. She just fucking annoyed me. I actually felt like a dumbbell in her eyes. She probably thought I was a dumbbell and I wasn't. I know how to drive. She just drives me crazy. Cindy is very annoying at times, but I still love her regardless. Apparently, I got a chance to give her a massage and she was calm. Huh. <sighs> at times, I get too annoyed by Cindy, but I still love her regardless. Huh. I just noticed that she's kind of like a control freak. <laughs> Cindy likes to clean up all the time and she kind of annoys me. And she's always fussing back and fucking forth. I push her away when it comes to watching the game, but I have to do that because if I don't do that, she'll just annoy the fuck out of me. But during halftime, that's when I massage Cindy. I got weights by me, but I'm not even working out. <laughs> Women love to fuss. While Cindy's in the kitchen cooking, I'm watching the game. This way, I won't hear her yap, 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 yap. She yaps too much and drives me insane, 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 insane. She could drive anyone out of their mind. She probably drove her ex-boyfriend out of his mind. I got a fucking feeling about this. She drives me out of my mind, but I still love her regardless. Sad that we usually have chicken debone, but this time she didn't make it. <coughs> we didn't have chicken debone, so I started feeling crazy. She thought I didn't even know what I wanted to eat. I told her, please decide what you want to eat. Then she said, I'm a cook. I can cook anything. Even though Cindy is kind of crazy and nuts, I love how she cooks, cleans, keeps everything straight. And, and she keeps thinking, I'm going to run my mouth like a crybaby. That's one thing I don't do is cry over spilt milk. But she treats me like a baby and I'm not a baby, but I am her babe.